Hi students, welcome to Sankalp Study Success. I am Tiruputra, Chemistry Lecturer. Please subscribe our channel. Today I am going to explain a radial probability distribution curves. So this is a very very important concept. So first of all, listen to me. <coughs> On this concept, so many questions are given in AP set. Uh, in net, neat, J mains, and M set. So listen to me. <coughs> so radial probability distribution curves. So first of all, orbital. We know that orbital. So before going to orbital, an orbital is the wave function. An orbital is the wave function. Wave function psi. Wave function is represented by psi. An orbital is the wave function. For an electron in an atom, so atomic orbital is the wave function. So this psi is uh, came from Schrödinger wave equation. Schrödinger wave equation. Do square psi by do x square plus do square like uh, del square del square psi plus eight pi square m. Okay, this is the a uh, schrodinger wave equation in the schrodinger wave equation psi is the wave function it tells the uh, atomic orbital it tells the atomic orbital so atomic orbital is the wave function for an electron in an atom what is that atomic orbital is the wave function for an electron in an atom so it is the energy state wave function is the energy, energy state which contains uh, total uh, information about electron in an atom so what is that atomic orbital is the wave function for an electron in an atom and also a uh, psi yeah, the psi wave function wave function is the energy state which contains total infer total explanation about to electron in an atom a total information about electron in an atom so uh, this is the quantum mechanics so listen to me a uh, first of all orbital orbital so here uh, this is the nucleus this is the nucleus here the electron can revolve around the nucleus in three dimensional space like x axis y axis and z axis so the electron can revolve around the nucleus in a circular circular path that is said to be orbit in three dimensional space in three dimensional space so so these uh, circular paths are said to be orbits orbits now orbital so the my, uh, suppose we can take and this is the nucleus here the electron can revolve around the nucleus so ek the electron tirige pradeshanni manam ila chukulaga petteskunte right so ee prantham em avutundante this is the maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus this is the maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus so here uh, here the maximum probability of finding electron is zero here electron in this space electron cannot revolve uh, in this space so that means here the maximum probability of finding electron is zero but in this space this is the uh, maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus in three dimensional space so that is said to be orbital that is said to be orbital so this maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus is taken as approximate 95 percentage 95 percentage so that is the definition the maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus in three dimensional space is known as orbital ee kendrakam chuttu ee nucleus chuttu electron tirige prantanni manam ala chokkalaga uhinchukunnatlayite so ee space lo electron tirige prantam so deenni em antaram ante mana maximum probability of finding electron ani cheptanu so ee maximum probability of finding electron ee nucleus chuttu maximum probability of finding electron ee three dimensional space lo ne manam em antaram ante orbital antaram the maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus in three dimensional space is known as orbital now listen to me <coughs> so this is the uh, okay this orbital this orbital is represented by uh, wave function right 
uh, an orbital is the wave function for an electron in, a, in an atom, it gives the total information about uh, electron in an atom. So, this is the wave function. Here the wave function is the, this is the wave function, uh, orbital, wave, orbital wave function, orbital wave function. So, this orbital wave function psi is equal to, so listen to me, the wave function psi is equal to product of product of two parts of wave functions. What is that? Here the, or the orbital wave function psi is equal to product of into product of two parts of wave functions. One is psi r, another one is psi theta pi. So that means the wave, the wave function psi is dependent upon two parts. The wave function psi is dependent upon two parts. What is the first part? So, the wave function is dependent upon radial distance. What is the radial distance? Okay, this is the nucleus. This is the nucleus. So, here the electron can revolve around the nucleus in subtler path. So, this subtler path is said to be r, uh, this subtler path is said to be r bit. So, this is the distance from the nucleus to r bit. We can say r. So, this is the radial distance. What is the radial distance? So, the distance from the electron to nucleus, outer, outer orbit electron to nucleus, right? That is the uh, radial distance, radial distance. So, uh, right, wave function psi is dependent upon two parts. One is, uh, the wave function is dependent upon uh, radial distance, radial distance like uh, r, like r. So, one part is radial distance, one part is radial distance, radial distance. Another part, another part. So, the wave function psi is also dependent upon no, angle and axis. The wave function, what is that? The wave function psi is also dependent upon no, angle, angle like theta and axis pi. So, we know that the electron can revolve around the nucleus in you know, three dimensional space, like a spherical. Okay, Manamaka boom and kunte. A boom came on the end, Aksham Shalu, Rakam Salunte, Aksham Shalu, Rakam Salu, Konta angle to Avengers Tonte, rotate out Tonte. So, yearly angle means this theta and x and pi. So, these are said to be a angular. These are angular, these are radial distance, this is uh, angle, all right, this is angular, angle. So, uh, angle, right. What is that? The wave function of orbital psi is dependent upon a uh, product of two parts of wave functions. One is psi r, another one is psi theta comma pi. So, the wave function psi is dependent upon radial distance that is taken as psi r, that is taken as psi r. What is radial distance? Radial distance means distance between the uh, electron to, electron from electron to nucleus, nucleus. And uh, angle, uh, another part of the radial, the another part of the wave function is dependent upon the angle and uh, axis, angle and uh, axis like theta and uh, so now, uh, so here uh, uh, for 1s orbital, for 2bz orbital, we can take an examples, we can take an examples, listen to me, for uh, psi 1s, this is the 1s orbital, this is psi 2pz. So here this is the, this totally this part is uh, psi r, this psi r, psi r. So it is here, here psi 1s is not depend upon no angle is not depend on angle and axis. But in the psi 2pz, the wave function for 2pz orbital is equal to this. Here, it is dependent upon now radial distance and also angle. This is totally, it is said to be psi r, psi r and it is dependent upon now, this is, it is said to be psi theta. That means, the orbital wave function psi is dependent upon now 
psi r and psi theta that means radial distance and angle right now so this is uh, over next node what is node listen to me so this is the nucleus so this is the probability of finding electron around the nucleus so this is the nucleus this is the nucleus so this is the probability of finding electron around the nucleus right right so this is said to be orbital this is said to be orbital so this is for one s orbital this is for one s orbital this is for one s orbital now we can take an another orbital like 2s orbital 2s orbital so here the probability of finding electron is this is the nucleus and this is the probability of finding electron and so according to this diagram this is for 2s orbital this is for 2s orbital so here the probability of finding electron in this part in this part is zero so that is said to be node that is said to be node so the probability of finding electron is zero at radial distance from the nucleus so this is the distance from the nucleus to outer electron okay this is said to be radial distance like r right so the probability of finding electron is zero at radial distance from the nucleus is called node so what is that in this space empty space this is the empty space that means uh, here the probability of finding electron is zero so the probability of finding electron is zero at the radial distance from the nucleus is called uh, node or nodal region or nodal space or nodal space or spherical nodes or spherical nodes all are same all are same so what is that the probability of finding electron around the nucleus the probability of finding electron around the nucleus is uh, zero that is said to be node or nodal space or uh, spherical node or nodal region so uh, this is nodes are two types nodes are two types one is radial nodes another one is angular nodes nodes are two types radial nodes another one is angular nodes angular nodes angular nodes so what is the node so according to uh, a per 2s orbital per 2s orbital this is the probability of finding electron this is also probability of finding electron but uh, between the between these two circles empty space is there that is empty space is said to be finding a probability of finding electron is zero probability of finding electron is zero so that space is said to be nodal region or nodal space so the probability of finding electron is zero at a radial distance from the nucleus from the nucleus is called a node or a nodal region or called a nodal space or a spherical nodes so here nodes can be classified into two types one is radial node another one is angular node another one is angular node so radial node radial node radial node is depended upon radial distance radial node is depended upon radial distance like r and n l radial nodes is depended upon r n or l so what is radial node this is the radial node the probability of finding electron is zero at radial distance from the nucleus so the the distance from the uh, nucleus to radial distance r distance this is said to be radial distance so the probability of finding electron is zero at the at radial distance from the nucleus 
is called radial nodes radial nodes is depended upon r n l so r means radial distance n means principal quantum number l means azimuthal quantum number l means azimuthal quantum number but angular node angular node is depended upon angular node is not depended upon radial distance like r so it is depended upon theta and axis theta and pi so angular node is depended upon theta and pi so uh, what is the formula of radial node radial node is equal to n minus l minus 1 n minus l minus 1 radial node is equal to n minus radial node of an orbital is equal to n minus l minus 1 where n is the principal quantum number l is azimuthal quantum number and angular node of an orbital is equal to l angular node of an orbital is equal to what is the formula angular node angular node angular node an orbital is equal to l so this is the formula of angular node so angular node is also known as nodal plane angular node is also known as nodal plane nodal plane angular angular node is also known as nodal plane so the number of nodal lines uh, the, the number of nodal plane nodal plane is equal to l now so nodes are can nodes can be classified into two types radial nodes angular nodes radial nodes is dependent upon radial distance like r and n l n is the principal quantum number l is the azimuthal quantum number but angular nodes is dependent upon no, uh, theta and pi like angle right so please observe these graphs so according to these graphs uh, you are plotting between uh, in the first one in the first one this is the first one this is the second one right so in the first one in yeah, the um, graph obtained in the graph cursor obtained so here the plotting between uh, psi and r psi means wave function psi means wave function r is the radial distance r is radial distance so this is per 1s orbital this is per 2s orbital this is per 3s orbital this is per 3s orbital so in this uh, uh, here uh, uh, this psi is decreases this psi is decreases with increases the distance from the nucleus with the so what is that here the psi is decreases psi is decreases with increasing the radius from the nucleus from the radius from the nucleus okay distance from the radius distance from the nucleus so in all these graphs here also here the psi is uh, decreases psi is uh, decreases uh, with increasing the radial distance like this graph also so in this graphs this part is po uh, okay in this part this is positive part this is positive part this is negative part this is negative part this is positive part so uh, psi is the atomic orbital what is the atomic orbital the probability of finding electron is zero is zero so its maximum probability is reaches to zero but not minus so uh, the probability of finding electron is zero at uh, radial distance from the nucleus is called node or nodal region so leave it uh, what is orbital the maximum probability of finding electron around the nucleus in three dimensional space is known as orbital here it is also said to be probable density probability density probability probability density it is represented by psi square it is represented by psi square so if any value is present in negative its square value is present in positive so manaki e psi ipudu psi value en denlo undi positive lo undi negative lo undi but then psi square will em avutundante minus lo unna adu kuda em avutundante positive avutundi minus into minus square means positive minus square means minus into minus like positive so here here in the second one in the second one 
draw a graph between uh, psi square and uh, r psi square and r psi square is the uh, probability density psi square is the probability density a radial probable density and r is the radial distance so in this graphs the curves are not opted in the negative region these are in the uh, uh, okay according to second part the curves are not obtained in the negative region negative uh, negative uh, negative region so this is the negative region but here not obtained so here the psi square is also decreases with increase of radius so that means so what it's meaning what it's meaning so the probability of binding electron psi square means probability of binding electron so orbital is can be taken as psi square so the probability of binding electron around the nucleus is decreases with increasing of radial distance ante ikkada manaki nucleus ki daggarlo daggarlo unde place mottham electron ekku ga tirutu untadi ala distance perugutu unna kolli aa probability of binding electron eda avutundi ante probability of binding electron density eda avutundi ante taggutundi so adi clear ga manaku kanipistundi ee graph lo so the probability of binding electron the probability of binding electron around the nucleus is decreases with uh, increasing the radial distance so a distance radius and increase out and called the probability of binding electron add out and decrease out according to these graphs so like here uh, according to this graph here psi square touch on the x axis here psi square curve is touch on the uh, x axis here psi square curve is touch on the x axis that means Yeah, the psi square is zero. That means psi square is equal to zero. Psi square is equal to zero means probability of binding electron is zero. Probability of binding electron is zero. So probability of binding electron at the radial distance is said to be in node. The probability of binding electron is zero at the radial distance from the nucleus is called node. Node. So here, how many nodes are obtained per two s orbital? Per two s orbital, one node is one radial node is obtained. One radial node is obtained. Per three s orbital. So here, here in this curve, the curve is touching with uh, touch the x axis, and also here also, uh, uh, e e this curve is also touch on the x axis. But uh, this curve is not touch on the x axis. That means. here uh, how many nodes are there two nodes are there two nodes are there two nodes so how many nodes two nodes nodes is equal to two so that means uh, per one s uh, zero node zero nodes why here yeah, the curve is not touching on the x axis so here yeah, the curve is not touching on the x axis so that means here yeah, the probability of binding electron around the nucleus is not zero per 1s orbital so per 1s orbital so this is the 1s orbital diagram this is 1s orbital diagram there is no nodes so the probability of binding electron around the nucleus is not a zero is a not a zero so this is the 1s orbital this is a 1s orbital so 1s orbital are uh, does not having uh, nodes per 2s orbital so how many nodes according to this graph this is the one node this is the one node so that means according to uh, according to graph uh, uh, one node is observed so this is the diagram so this is empty space this is empty space is a probability of binding electron is zero that probability of binding electron is zero that is that space can be taken as a nodal space so one this is the one one node one node one radial node is present in 2s orbital per 3s orbital per 3s orbital how many radial nodes three uh, two radial nodes here two peaks are touching on the x axis that means at this point at this point the probability of binding electron is zero the probability of binding electron is zero so the probability of binding electron is zero that that space or that point is taken as a on radial node radial node or radial uh, uh, sorry no, nodal space or spherical node spherical node so per 3s orbital how many radial nodes are there two 
according to formula according to formula radial nodes is equal to n minus l minus 1 n minus l minus 1 so for example for 1s orbital for 1s orbital for 1s orbital or radial nodes radial nodes radial nodes is equal to n minus l minus 1 what is L, n value n is the principal quantum number what is n value n value is 1 1 so l value if l we know that if l is equal to 0 that is s orbital if l is equal to 1 that is the p orbital if l is equal to 2 that is the d orbital that is the d orbital if l is equal to 3 that is the f orbital so these are the l values per of subcells s b d f subcells so this is the l this is the s orbital for s orbital l value is 0 minus 1 so 1 minus 1 means 0 so how many radial nodes are present in 1s orbital 0 radial nodes are present in 1s orbital similarly for 2s orbital for 2s orbital radial nodes radial nodes so radial nodes is equal to radial nodes is equal to how uh, much uh, n minus l minus 1 what it's n 2 minus l means 0 for s orbital l value 0 minus 1 2 minus 1 means 1 so for 2s orbital radial nodes is equal to 1 so this is the node so that means uh, for 2s orbital this is the diagram so this is the nucleus so this is the nucleus So this is the right. So this is the empty space. This empty space is a probability of finding electron is zero. That space is said to be nodal space. So one nodal one nodal space or one spherical node for two s orbital. For three s orbital, uh, n minus l minus one. What it's n three minus l means s uh, per uh, s orbital l value zero minus 1 so 3 minus 1 means 2 so how many radial nodes for 3s orbital 2 so uh, 2 nodes this is 1 this is 1 2 nodes 2 nodes so this is the diagram for 3s orbital this is the diagram for 3s orbital so s orbital is present in spherical say so this is the spherical shape so yeah, this is the how many empty space are present in this diagram two empty space this is the one empty space this is the one empty space so in this empty space the probability of finding electron is zero that is said to be node this is one node this is another node so how many nodes two nodes per 3s orbital okay similarly per p orbital also per p orbital also uh, similarly per p orbital so this diagram per 1s and 2p and 3d per 1s 2p and 3d orbital this diagram is similar similarly 2s 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 and not good this is uh, 3p and 4d for 2s 3p and 4d orbital having similar diagram similarly 3s 4p and 5d so all these are actually having a same diagram so for example 3s 4p 5d so all these orbitals in the in the 3s for 4p and 5d all the uh, three orbitals having a same diagram like this one
right so uh, we know that uh, radial nodes and angular nodes what is angular nodes listen to me now we can take an p orbital p orbital p orbital is present in dumbbell shape suppose uh, p orbital x axis this is y axis x axis this is y axis here the probability of finding electron around the nucleus in dumbbell shape so this is the dumbbell so here this is x axis this y axis this is z axis or this is y axis this is z axis right here two lobes here the dumbbell is having two lobes this is the two, two lobes this is the two lobes these two lobes are present on x axis this is taken as px what is the shape of p p orbital dumbbell so here the dumbbell containing two lobes the two lobes are present on x axis that means here the electron can revolve around the nucleus in no two lobes in two lobes on x axis on x on x axis now here the yz plane this is the yz plane this is the yz plane in the yz plane this is the yz in this yz plane the probability of finding electron is zero in the yz plane the probability of finding electron is zero so the plane the plane which is passing through the nucleus of orbital Uh, where the probability of finding electron is zero, that is said to be nodal plane or angular node. What is that? This is the plane. So here the dumbbell is present on x-axis. That means uh, the probability of finding electron around the nucleus, around the nucleus in dumbbell uh, dumbbell shape on x-axis. But the probability of finding electron. is zero on yz plane so that is said to be nodal plane so what is nodal plane so nodal plane is a plane which is nodal plane is a plane which is passing through the nucleus which is passing through the nucleus in orbital where the probability of finding electron is zero where the probability of finding electron is zero that is said to be nodal plane or angular nodes so angular nodes are also known as a nodal plane so what is the formula angular node is equal to l angular node is equal to l but s orbital having s orbital having uh, zero nodal plane or uh, zero angular nodes why why okay this is the so s orbital this is the nucleus here the probability of finding electron around the nucleus in all direction is same like x axis y axis and z axis in all directions okay the probability of finding electron around the nucleus in s orbital are same in all directions so that means the probability of finding electron is equally sharing in all direction so this is the probability of finding electron is not present on only one direction here the probability of finding electron is same in all direction so s orbital is not depend upon direction so the s orbital is a non directional non directional so it cannot depend upon a uh, direction means angle direction means angle so angular nodes are zero per s orbital angular nodes are zero per s orbital for p orbital so for any one one s two s three s what its l value for one s two s three s what its l value zero l value zero l value zero if l is equal to zero that is that is s orbital so what is the angular node angular node is equal to l angular node is equal to l l is equal to zero so for s orbital angular nodes are zero or nodal planes are zero and next 
goes to p orbital so here p orbital uh, containing two lobes uh, present on x axis that means uh, here the probability of finding electron around the nucleus is present in uh, uh, two lobes on x axis so in yz plane in this diagram the y in the uh, in this diagram the yz plane uh, having a zero probability of finding electron that means in this plane like yz plane the probability of finding electron is zero that is said to be that is taken as uh, angular node or uh, nodal plane angular node or nodal plane so uh, the nodal plane of px orbital is uh, yz the nodal plane of px uh, px orbital is uh, yz similarly for py if we can take this is y axis this is y axis this is x axis and this is z axis so here the probability of finding electron is present on which axis py y axis that is taken as py where the probability of finding electron is zero in v in uh, uh, xz plane xz plane so xz plane for py orbital the nodal plane is one that is xz similarly if we can take an uh, pz pz this is z axis we can say this is y axis this is x axis right here the probability of finding electron is present on z axis but the probability of finding electron is present in a zero in xy plane so that is the nodal plane for pz orbital the nodal plane is xy the nodal plane is xy so for p orbitals like px py pz uh, what its nodal planes for px py pz its nodal planes uh, yz xz and xy respectively right the angular node of 2p orbital the angular node of 2p orbital is equal to l what is the l value of p 1 so its angular node is 1 and here here the size scale is decreases with increasing the radius so in this curve uh, one of the point is the maximum curve this is the maximum height of the curve uh, this is the radius of that orbital this this is the radius of that orbital so um, the maximum curve the maximum curve from a uh, distance from a nucleus is taken as a radius of orbit so its value per 1s orbital its value per 1s orbital 0.529 per 2s orbital 0 0.530 like according to 0 0.529 n square if the n is increases n square by z square if n is increases its uh, radius is also increases here one here uh, n is one here n is two here n is three so if the n value is the principal quantum number is increases its radius is also increases its radius is also increases and uh, i i hope to clear this everyone uh, thank you for watching please subscribe our channel in the next video we will discuss about uh, radial probability distribution curves